Well, three months after sending a racially charged tweet and getting fired from from her sitcom, Roseanne Barr is speaking out. And she's not holding anything back in an emotional interview. Entertainment Tonight's co-host Kevin Frazier has the E.T. exclusive. Elliot and Lauren, Roseanne gets really personal in this E.T. exclusive interview about how she was ostracized by a number of her former Roseanne co-stars and how she really appreciates longtime pal John Goodman coming to her defense. I love you. him. <laughs> it's so sweet of him to do that. I cried. And my boyfriend was like, look, look at what he said. And I, I was so happy. A clearly emotional Roseanne fighting back tears when talking about her friend and co-star John Goodman's recent interview where he defended the actress claiming she was not a racist. It was so nice for someone who knows me to speak for me. It was great. At a podcast recording at Stand Up New York with her friend Rabbi Shmuley Boteak, Roseanne was also bitterly honest about not hearing from other longtime co-stars. It's shocking. Definitely shocking. I thought they loved me. It's terrible. And it was like losing your whole family, you know? It's like, I thought they loved me. Who's they? Uh, the other cast members that I raised, pretty much. You know, I'm fine without it. And I have a wonderful family, and I have six grandchildren. How, how much better does life get? And despite losing her job, and a show she helped create, the Emmy winner is still trying to remain impersonal about the fate of the series now retitled The Connors that may soon kill off her legendary character. Very painful. I just have to be neutral and walk away. I, I did walk away so people could keep their jobs. And, um, you know, there's always a silver lining in every cloud, and it's the tough part is to find it. We will have so much more coming up on ET. I'm Kevin Frazier. Back to you.